What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, E.S.G. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry Hero. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. I know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, word? Show me DJ Chosen. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy. Baby girl. It's your girl, B. Simona, with Catch 20. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. What up, DJ Shantae, 93.7 The Beat? I'm rocking with Catch 22, 92 Kells. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kells.com. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Bro, it's a middle. It's not five wave, four wave. It's not five wave, four uh, y'all know who know got a new game called Dose? Uh, <laughs> who know got a new game called Dose? They got a new game called Dose. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real though, y'all. Yeah. Oh, they mean two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the sequel to Uno is Dose. Dose. Oh, okay, I get it. That, uh, I know. But anyway, <laughs> I thought it was racist, me, low key. He thought it was racist. Yeah, for sure. You ain't done. All right, we got a special guest. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Come on with your introduction, man. All right, y'all. Now, our first special guest is one of the dopest female DJs okay. I've gotten to witness, right? And she always super fly, right? Uh, so that's, that's why facts. I put on this wig. Because I was like, I got to sit next to Shantae. So if I'm going to be up here looking like a black and mouth, I'm going to look like a good black and mouth. <laughs> yeah. I have to put it on, right? She's on every Saturday from 6 to 10 on 93.7 B. Okay. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> We've been waiting I'm on dead. I'm so dead. You better hear laugh at hot high. Y'all was fucking her. Oh, I'm sorry. Her oh, no. 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 And she got, don't worry, you got the money. So don't yeah. cuss no more. But that I first five. Y'all are freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is really a, a clean show? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't curse. We're trying to get the sponsors, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the sponsors. What's been going on, Shantae? Everything. 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 You like you be working all the time. All the time. Drew said he went to see you DJ last night. She didn't even know. I was standing right next to her. Oh, where? Right next to her. You didn't have no catch twenty two stuff yeah. on. She was light skinned. Oh. Right. oh. <laughs> they don't look at nobody. You know that shit. Yo, last night was the hardest night of my life. I had a DJ four hours straight, like Ooh. on point the whole time, like. But that you, usually doesn't happen. I usually do like two hour sets, but it was a whole four hour set. It was crazy. <laughs> But thank you for coming through. I I do remember you. You was like to my left. Right. Let's see. Okay. okay. That was a 50-50 chance. <laughs> like, and I, he was standing in the corner like a little creep. He was like. Oh, yeah. That's him for sure. He had the gold show. Like, who is this? <laughs> What you do last night? What, what were you DJing at? I was at the Commoner downtown on Main Street. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it was a little mixed crowd. Yeah, it had, she had a line. Like, you know, normally when you walk up, people just walking in. Like, she at 1.30, there was still people standing outside. Yeah, the, the line was, like, wrapped around. Like, Golly. it was crazy. But it's upstairs, downstairs, so it's like you have a choice where That's you want to be. Everybody was upset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad you were able to make it today because I was on your Instagram and you had posted a picture, a video of you at that Ratchet Hatchet place. Yes. And your manager threw an axe at you and I was like, God, at least she's not going to make it. <laughs> we're going to have to find no. <laughs> Let me explain. It's called cinematography. Uh-huh. So basically how it was, I walked up against the wall where it was already an axe in the wall. Uh -huh. So they just took a video of my manager just like acting like he threw it oh. and then cut the camera and there I am with the axe in the wall, and it just, and they did the sound uh, effects and everything. Like, it was crazy how they did it, but it was fake. I would never put my life in danger like that. Oh, we thought you were going to make it today. I trust them, yeah. but I don't trust them that much. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Ain't that much trust in the world. <laughs> I didn't think you was going to make it. Yeah. Now, being a DJ on the radio, and mm -hmm. especially, like, in the clubs and everything, I'm sure you're approached by artists all the time. Yeah. And so, how do you know when to take a chance on those artists? I don't. I don't ever take chances because... I mean, at the end of the day, when you come out, you hear me play or you hear my set, that's me. That's what I put together. That's my playlist. That's my genre of music. Right. And then for somebody to come in and be like asking me to basically risk somebody else's thought process on me and how I am as a DJ, I can't take that chance. I don't care how much money you have, none of that. Right. I tell you, you know, send me an email. I'm going to check it out. And if I like it, then I'll play it next time. Right. But I'll never do it right then and there. 
Right. So I know you, re- you receive a lot of music. Do you actually go back and listen to all those artists' music? I'm not going to say I listen to everything. I do try to listen to as much as I can, but it, it's a lot. I have a whole personal email just for music in general, and it's a lot of stuff that's sent to me from labels to local artists, and it's just a lot. I can't go through everything, but I try to at least. That's real. So what's the last song that you listened to that you feel like you should put in your rotation as far as mixing? Honestly, um... So she's a female artist. I, she's from Houston, local. Megan Thee Stallion mm-hmm. got a couple of her tracks, and I just feel like we need to really incorporate her in our mix. Like she's blowing up. Actually, she, she actually got signed, you know, by yeah, 300 Entertainment. So I feel like she's putting on for the city. She's dope. She doesn't sound like a normal Houston artist. Right. She can pretty much take this sound anywhere, and, and every people from all over every state are messing with her. So yeah. I feel like that's somebody that definitely needs to be in rotation, and I've already brought that to like. My station's, you know, attention. This is somebody we need to put in regular rotation. So we we working on that. But that is somebody I like really get behind and support. So what does a a, a normal Houston artist sound like? Norm, you know that coming down, <laughs> that freestyle, that that <laughs> old H town sound. Like that's cool. That's what we're known for. That's 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 our history. But I feel like we have a lot of new up and coming artists that don't have that sound. Like they have a sound that's universal. Right. Right. But they represent Houston. They still talk about everything Houston right. right and I feel like we need to capitalize on that and I just feel like people are still stuck in the past mm-hmm. we got to move forward it's about to be 2019 mm-hmm. it's gonna be 2020 real quick so that's we right. got to move forward so if you had to name your top three or five in the in the city right now who would it be Megan uh-huh mm-hmm. um, OTB Fastlane Mm. They they're killing it right now. I mean that that's just that makes sense. It's common sense right now. I'm gonna tell you somebody you missed. Like they should be in your like top five if you were to do. Oh, top I know five. I should go. I have. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's it's this that. real dope group, right? Mm-hmm. They named Thick and Nasty. Okay, I never heard of them, but uh-huh. um, I mean I'm willing to try it out. I mean, yeah. you got some music you want to send me? Yeah. No. Um. So Wait, is this a real group? Yeah. Okay. We all Thick and Nasty. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Nasty. All right. Okay. Yeah. Y'all need to join the B2K, the middle, the millennium. Yeah. Yeah. Millenn- we gonna do all y'all that. need to join that tour. <laughs> See, we background. We gonna we do background everything. Just okay. Explain to us what we do. All right. So you're a DJ. So uh-huh. we gonna do background DJ. So what, yeah. how it's gonna work is like you gonna throw in the instrumental. I'm gonna throw in the song. But it's gonna intertwine together, mm-hmm. and we are gonna rock the crowd. You think that'll work? It possibly. I just gotta hear it. I mean, I can't. I can't go off of what you t- what you're talking about That's right now. You gotta hear it. That's you got something you can, you can show me. Play we didn't get a me. no. Huh? We didn't get a no. Y'all didn't get a no. You did no. I, no. I'm very open. I just have to. I just. I gotta hear it. So think it nasty can work. I mean, it, it might. I mean, I'm That's not gonna, I'm not gonna kill your dream. Know. And I'm sure you got artists. Just let them know when they perform. We do, cause yeah. we do we background rappers too. Okay. So all I want right, to so take showcases. It. Y'all are down to jump on. Oh yeah. All right, bet. Yeah, I got you. All right. So I kind of want to take it back. I want to know where you come from. Are you from Houston? I'm not from Houston. I'm from Atlanta slash Colleen, Texas. Um, so my family's military and divorced. So you know that whole custody back and uh-huh. forth. I was back and forth between Colleen and Atlanta all my life. I went to four different high schools. Um, I ended up graduating in Colleen, Texas. Moving forward, went to Afghanistan for three years, worked out there as a contractor, came back, moved back to Houston because I used to come out here to party all the time. Right. And I was just like, I would love to live in this city. So yeah. that's so kind of how, how that happened. That's kind of how I just ended up in Houston. Nobody lives out here. I don't have any family out here. Oh. It's just me. Me too. Yeah. So what got you to DJ? Actually, I want to ask you, how long you been in Houston? Let me let me start there. I've been in Houston 12 years. Oh, okay. um, what got me into DJ, my dad's a DJ, my brother's a DJ. Um, I kind of like watched them come up, watch my dad for sure. My brother, he tested it out. He's not doing it anymore, but I was working in oil and gas in corporate America. It was boring, whack. And I'm always, I've always been like an entrepreneur all my life, right. you know, making money on the side, trying to figure out what I can do that I don't have to have a boss and somebody like breathing down my neck all day. So I was like, man, I need to just get good at DJing. Like, there's no female DJs really taking over in Houston right now. I agree. I mean, it was really one at the time when I started. And I was like, man, she, but she's older. So it's like, I'm young. I can come in and take this market over. And once I got that mindset, I learned how to do everything, bought all my equipment, and that's exactly what I did. 
That's dope. Now, if you weren't DJing, because you said you don't like corporate America, what would you be doing? Stripping. I know that's right. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm I'd be doing. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> strippers, man, they got it made. They make so much, much money. money. Oh, sure. my God. Anyways, <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, what would I be doing? I really don't know. I would probably be stuck in oil and gas, because that's, that's all I know. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so actually, I feel like I've been, I've been in this Houston underground scene for a long time, and actually just watching you come up through the scene, I feel like you went faster than a lot of people. How do you feel that other DJs look at you that's out here grinding, or what steps did you take it to get to where you are today? So, my, the way I think about that is because, okay, so before I started DJing, I was already a big socialite in Houston. Like, I already was hanging out at all the, all the clubs, knew all the promoters, knew all the club owners. <laughs> was linked in with them already. And it was just, once I started DJing, I was just like, yo, let me come open up. Like, you don't gotta, see the thing is I DJ for a long time for free. I didn't mm. ask for no money. I just wanted to get good at it. And so I was like, yo, let me open up, you know, until your main DJ comes on. I'll take, you know, they'll take over. So yeah, um, I did that for a long time for free. And until I got, comfortable enough to actually want to pursue it more so and then start charging for it or whatever but I did a lot of stuff for free I studied a lot I took online DJing classes I sat I took a uh, I went to a DJ school to try to learn how to scratch and all of that I sat behind DJs in the DJ booth all night long and watched them just use the board and and listen to the music and just it, it was a lot of stuff that I went through to get to where I'm at right now. Like, right. it just didn't come easily. But I will say, being that I knew all the, the party promoters and the club owners, that made it a little, more, a little bit more easy for me to get in the venues. But other than that, it just took me perfecting my skills to be able to stay right. and be who, you know, I am. Right. Were there any DJs that you looked up to? I was just about Honor? to ask. Um, yeah. Of course, my mentor now, which is DJ Mr. Rogers. Um, I looked up to him. Um, superstar. Female DJ wise, so like far. she was dope. I looked up to her. Um, it was a couple of other DJs that had like little things about them that I liked. Um, I'm not gonna name them or whatever, but it was just little things about them that I liked that I kind of just incorporated into how I became, you know, how I, how I made my style basically. Right. So when I usually go out, I stand behind a lot of DJs. I got a lot of DJ homies in the city, and Rogers is one of the best ones I've seen. Yeah. Out there, to be honest, how did you end up linking up with Mr. Rogers? Um. I knew him before we actually got into radio. I, well, actually, I briefly, we kind of just came across each other. And then when we started working at 93.7 together, is when we kind of <laughs> built that relationship. And um, he really liked my style and how I'm just not just trying to play all the hood or all the new hits. It's like I incorporate, like, my style of DJing, which is, like, open format. I'm an open format DJ. I don't just mm -hmm. play hip-hop. I can play anything you can imagine. I can do this any type of... Even, yeah, <laughs> you know from last night, right? Yeah, yeah so. She had white um, folks in the off beat. But yeah. Was, it, was <laughs> it was the most unseasoned wobbles Bro. and then the most unseasoned swag surf I've ever seen in my life. But, hey, we made it happen, but. <laughs> it was terrible. It was, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> they didn't know what to do, but. Anyway, so. <laughs> I mean, I think he really messed with me just because. My, my openness, like okay, I just yeah. explore music. I love music as a whole. Like it doesn't matter what type of music it is. What's your favorite genre? You like? Uh, I like music electronic art. music, honestly. I like hip hop and electronic together, hmm. and that's what I do. I try to incorporate them together, and so I find a producer because my next thing is getting into producing. But I'll find a producer that kind of mixes the two together, and I'll drop those type of tracks. Uh -huh. But for the most part, I want to be able to create that myself. So mm. that's my next goal. So, uh, last week we talked about our boy Jacquees saying he was the king of R&B. Um, and we asked, who would be on the Mount Rush Rushmore for your king of R&B? Oh, oh God. Ooh. So, don't judge me. I'm not really an R&B person. Uh -huh. um, you too light-skinned for that. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. You're supposed to be into it. <laughs> I know, I'm really not, though. And if I am, it's like... Female R and B artists. Cool. Like, I don't care about the men. Like, so do your do your Mount Rushmore for women? Oh man. Uh, yeah. Where's my phone? Oh, she got my. I phone. think I think it's harder for the women Mount Rushmore than it is for the men. Like, think so? Yeah. For the men, R. Kelly has to be on there. Uh, Usher has to be on there. Chris Brown has to be on there. 
and then like the fourth is interchangeable. But for women, you got see you you took the words right out of my mouth. Those that's that's who I was gonna choose. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> yeah, all of them. But ain't none of them women. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. A general question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing, I listen to underground underground R and B artists. So people y'all never even heard of. Like, but, like who? But, who? Right. but for the most part, like if you want to take it back to like the legends and like people that's been killing it, everybody you named. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to answer that question. My rap Mount Rushmore for the women is Ella May, Ella May, Ella May, Ella May. Really? Just Ella May? She's so fine. She I don't know she can't do no she's wrong. She's not fine. Yes, she is. No. She looks like Elle Bonner. Nah, well, she's not fine. fine. She's well, not fine. Well, who fine? Well, who's fine? Who's fine, Shante? Tanache. <laughs> she cool. She ain't Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hates Tanache for some reason. I don't know. I just do that. I've never I just that. Okay. Uh, what's uh, Janae Aiko's sister's name? Oh. Uh... Renee. <laughs> Who? Renee Aiko. No. <laughs> Janae and Renee Aiko. <laughs> Mila J. Oh, my God. Mila, Mila J. That's her sister? She, yeah, she yeah Mila song, J is her right? sister. Did she, get, did she get pregnant by like Omarion's brother? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Orion. Oh, all right. <laughs> he had a song. Yeah, I know. He was like a rapper. Or something. He was no, singing something. Single. Single. Yeah. Hey. He's going to be on the tour too. They need to bring Orion back. Orion better not be on the tour. He's going to open up. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be on the small stage you know, outside. No songs. No songs. So what you got? No, there's a lot of dope, dope R&B. Huh? There's a lot of dope R&B? What you about Women. To say? Women. Uh huh. Who? There's Bree Steven. LMA. Summer Walker. Summer Walker is dope. Summer Walker is dope. She fine Ari too. Lennox. Who? Ari Lennox. Oh, I never heard of her. See? I gotta check Look. her out. See? See? There's this girl named uh, a- what's her name? Asian? 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 I, I, Asian. I don't freaking know. I mean, I, I don't freaking know. No, Sorry. you do. Asian? No. <laughs> bleep that out, producer. <laughs> <laughs> we live. Bleep that. Oh, it's live. Oh, yeah, yeah. We for sure live. We'll bleep out the video, hey, but you for sure live. Hey, you up. You're supposed to catch that. <laughs> Y'all supposed to have a delay. Y'all got a delay? Uh, Y'all got I think a dump button? Y'all got a dump? Oh, see. I think we do. Thank you, though. We You're need welcome. that. Come on now. <laughs> hey, why everybody gave this look around like me? <laughs> better get on that dump button. Better get button. on your dump button. <laughs> gotta have that dump. Oh, you got any home, like, home places, like uh, clubs or anywhere that people can come see you every week? Or yeah, is it always so interchangeable? I like low-key, underground, curated <clears throat> stuff. Like, I don't like these mainstream clubs like Mercy's and Set and all of that stuff. I mean, they're cool to do. But Thursdays, you can catch me at Lily and Bloom. That's on Main Street. Um, I'm there with DJ Good Grief. That's a legend in Houston, if you don't know. Yeah, for sure. He's dope. Um, Saturday's Commoner, where you was at last night. Uh, January, I'll be there pretty much three weeks out that month. Um, other than that, I just do, like, I like corporate stuff. And then, like I said, I like curated cool events, like, where you just get an email, like, oh, this is what's going on right now. You're either going to come or you're not. Right. Not no, I don't really like to be subjected to like an actual venue every week because I like to travel too. So, mm-hmm. but for the most most part, just you know, check my Instagram out. I'm always posting where I'm at. If you want to keep, you know, stay up to date. Since you like to travel, you should be a tour DJ for Thick and Nasty. Oh, that would be fire. That's that actually would. been a goal of mine to be a tour DJ. I'm going to just have to check y'all out, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we selling out of like, I don't know what y'all. <laughs> we selling out of Oh, oh really? It's on. We out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you okay. so much, DJ Shante, for stopping by I and kicking it. it with us. We really enjoyed you, man. Appreciate it. We really it. did. All right, y'all. We about to go into a mix with DJ Lace Front. Yep. When we come back. DJ Lace Front. Yeah, he got beard. Lace Front beard. You see, it's pretty uh-huh. cool. <laughs> it's too <laughs> cool. <laughs> he ain't had it like two weeks ago. <laughs> what he you looking at, there. Fondo? Oh, <laughs> El Fondo. <laughs> he looking like the whole bad, bro. You, you own the keys. Just catch you're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.